Good afternoon. Here's what's making news this Tuesday, the 16th of April. Terror in Sydney. A bishop stabbed during a live streamed church service. A 16 year old now in custody. We're live to the scene. Anarchy on the streets. Crowds clash with police as thousands swarm Sydney southwest. The Prime Minister and Premier call for calm. Shocking revelations, questions raised over the deadly Bondi rampage as police investigate whether it could have been weeks in the making. Media lawyer Justin Quill is here to break down Bruce Lerriman's failed defamation case. Film set sentencing. The Rust Armourer faces up to 18 months behind bars over the fatal shooting of a cinematographer. And the sweetest reunion the country's been waiting for, Magpie Molly is back home. This is 10 News First Midday with Narelda Jacobs. Kai, nice to have your company. We start with the latest on the horrifying attack in Sydney's West, where a 16-year-old boy allegedly stabbed a bishop delivering a sermon inside a church while the service was being live-streamed. Police have since declared it a terror attack. Outside, it triggered mass riots, with police injured and three others taken to hospital with stab wounds. For more, I'm joined by Samara Gardner, who's outside the church in Wakeley, where the terror unfolded. Samara, what more do we know? Norelda, we're learning that this 16-year-old allegedly behind... Coming up, the FBI launches a criminal investigation into the deadly Baltimore Bridge collapse. Plus, Israel's war cabinet meets to discuss how to respond to Iran's drone attack as world leaders urge restraint. Also, Donald Trump makes history, becoming the first former US president to face a criminal trial. And dozens dead as floods devastate Pakistan and Afghanistan. all the news you need with 10 News First Midday and the latest developments at 3.30. Then to get the full story, switch on Gen at 5 for your local Melbourne news. It's Final Week with the Paramount Plus. for finance and joining us is Juliet Sally from Ausbiz. All right, Juliet, cost of living pressures have seen some Aussies unable to pay off their car loans. What are the details? Yeah, hi, Narelda. For Adelaide, the sun is shining for Perth, 30 degrees, and Alice Springs as well, 29. It's mostly sunny for Darwin, 35, and in Broome, a warm one and sunny, 38. And that is the latest news for this Tuesday, the 16th of April. I'm at Narelda Jacobs. It was lovely to have your company today, but join us again at 3.30 for 10 News First Afternoon, and then you can catch the team at 5 o'clock for all the latest. Until then, have a great afternoon. Well done.